it is really good to be back with uh, back with you all today. Um, I've missed our time together. Yes. 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 It's so good to be here and praying that um, as we just get into God's word and um, begin to study, that it will be a blessing to those in the hearing and that it will not just that we won't just hear the word, but we will be doers of the word. So before we get started, um, let us pray. Cheryl, Father, we come to you this afternoon, Lord, just thanking you and praising you, Father, for another opportunity, Lord, to just dive into your word, to study and to um, learn about you and, and our relationship with you. And God, we just pray that everyone that hears this word, Lord, that they will grow by it, that it will um, help them to increase in their walk with you. And God, we give you praise for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So as we uh, as we have been doing for the last few last few months, we are still studying in Galatians chapter six. We're uh, still talking about the fruit of the spirit. So to start, I'm going to just uh, read read the scripture that we have highlighted, uh, Galatians five, beginning in verse twenty two. But the fruit of the Spirit, which is the result of His presence within us, is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, not the ability to wait, but for how we act while we're waiting, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And the, the, one, the gift that we're going to be lifting up today is gentleness. Now, just to give a, a definition of gen gentleness, that's a hard word to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most often, I think gentleness is translated as meekness. Mm -hmm. But when we say meekness, that doesn't always mean weakness. Yeah, that's yeah. right. No. That's meekness true. does not mean weakness. It's more of a humility and a thankfulness toward God. Mm -hmm. And it's about um, it's like being polite in a restrained, having a restrained behavior towards people. Because as we talk about the fruit of the spirit, the thing that we have to realize is these fruits are it's attached to our relationships. You know, we first need to have a really a relationship with God, mm -hmm. and in having that relationship with God and with Jesus, the um, he increases these fruits in our lives, and as as they begin to increase, then that's going to show up in our relationship with each other. Yes. Um, we do know that the opposite of gentleness is anger. It's maybe a desire for revenge. Mm -hmm. um, it's maybe lifting ourselves up, wanting to lift our own self up above others. But gentleness is simply humility and grace. Mm -hmm. Um, and y'all can jump in here anytime. <laughs> I see you're sitting on the edge of your seat. <laughs> well, in, in my Bible, I use the Dake Study Bible, and gentleness in the Greek is called Christos. Mm -hmm. And it says, a disposition to be gentle or soft spoken, kind, even tempered, cultured, and refined in character and conduct. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say, you know, like when it's easy to be this. Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. and, and so sometimes this is this is a difficult thing you know, for us in the flesh, but it is yeah. only by the presence of the Holy Spirit working exactly. in us that we exactly. can be you know, especially, you know, when, when we're being tested. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so true. true. Yes. And it's the character of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. and that's oh, what yeah. he represents. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he does, and he, he, he does this. And when, what come to my mind was Murray Martha. Mm. And you know how mm -hmm. Martha was the one that was busy, right? Yes. And Murray yes. was the one that said at Jesus' feet, and he just gently said, Martha, Martha, you yes. have concern exactly. about too much. Yes. But she's chosen the best mm -hmm. thing. He mm -hmm. was trying to let them know you. You, yeah. you, if you're doing this, that's fine, but don't get upset over it. Yeah. Don't right. let it worry yeah. you. Because we let a lot of things get us out of whack. Oh, yes. We do just little yes. things out of whack. But I'm telling you, it, that that really stuck out mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. That really stuck out. Yeah. That does it. You know, when I first started studying this, the very first scripture that, that God brought to my mind was Revelations 3 and 20. Mm -hmm. And the fact that God, He does not 
push himself on us at all. He doesn't push into our lives. No. But no. he humbly, he just, he very gently, he just kind of knocks at the door of our hearts. Mm -hmm. You know, he is such the gentleman. Yeah. You know, he is the true, he is the, he's the faith and the, the fact of what gentleness is. Right. And, and he just humbly knocks at that door. Mm -hmm. and he does. As the servant, mm -hmm. you know, knocking into our mm -hmm. hearts. Yes, and then he lets us come to him and open up that door. Mm -hmm. And but then if we open up that door, you know, he is the gentleman to come mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and you know, and then sup with us, you know, eat with us. You know? yes. And then he doesn't push himself at all. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that's that first verse that, that God brought to my mind, you know, mm -hmm. when I, into my spirit when I was studying this this morning. Mm -hmm. Just how good. gently he comes to us. He does. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Just, just as the word tells us that, uh, you know, uh, so many times we look for him in the wind and, yes. and in the, yes. you know, in, in the mountains and, and whatever, but he comes in a still, small voice. Yeah. And that's how we are. I think uh, as I was studying, it talked a lot about kind of the opposite of gentleness and, mm -hmm. and about us being angry and, and mm -hmm. things like that and how well as you say god isn't like that no uh even when we have to correct somebody we can do it in genius yes. 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 When, when correction is needed because mm -hmm. he, he has to correct us sometimes yeah. mm -hmm. but he don't just knock us down or, or run over us or whatever but he gets our he manages to get our attention yes. Mm -hmm. when, I, yes. when i was looking Study. Um, I found this quote and I loved it. It said, um, Human power under human control is half broken weapon in the hands of a child. Mm. But gentleness places our strength under God's guidance. Mm -hmm. It is a powerful tool for God's kids. It is. Mm -hmm. it is. And I, yes. I thought about the um, scripture in 2 Timothy verse 2, I mean, chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Mm -hmm. It says, A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle. To all, able to teach, patient, and humility, mm -hmm. correcting those who are in opposition. If God perhaps will grant them repentance so that they may know the truth. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. We're not born gentle. You know? no. no. This is something that is through a relationship with Christ. And right. It's something that's carved and molded and shaped mm -hmm. through the things that we go through. Mm -hmm. right? And I think that we kind of have to heal others do and be a model for others to do that. That's yes, true. that is, that is so right. true. Yeah, yes. we, uh, one scripture was uh, Ephesians um, 4 and 2. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to read that. I actually had it up here. <laughs> um, it is um, 4 and 2. And it says, With all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another yes. in love. And we yes. must walk in gentleness daily, mm -hmm. unity, and forsake <coughs> self righteousness. Yes. We have to realize that we, you know, because a lot of Christians, they down people because of the way they live. And they don't right. know Jesus. Right. And, but see, we forget that we didn't know Jesus one day. Right. And we live the way we wanted to live. But there's a way that we can sit, like you said, yes. and talk to people. Mm -hmm. There's a way to present Christ to them. That's I don't right. have to sit and ask you how you live it. Mm -hmm. I don't have to sit and ask you how you walk it. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about the man that exactly. saved myself. Mm -hmm. yes. That's just like when Reverend Kane said that time. He said he had a lot of people tell me, boy, you going to hell. He said, well, I knew that. He yes. said, I needed exactly. a cure. Yes. That's yes. what they want is a cure. He, wow. They want that love. Mm -hmm. They want that. They want to know how to get that relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we got to present it in the right way. Yeah. Yes. I think it is so important when we are ministering and witnessing to others to be real. But this not... Um, not elevating what I was before, mm -hmm. but to show people that this is who I was before, but this is what God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's my, my two favorite words, but God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to elevate him and, and mm -hmm. just, just to show people exactly who he is. Mm -hmm. Because so many times we have an idea from maybe a past experience mm -hmm. what what maybe a father was to right. us in the past, right. but to know who our Heavenly mm -hmm. Father is yes. and to be able to show others mm -hmm. who my God is. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the scriptures that I wrote down, it was, um, I think it's Isaiah 40, verse 11. 
He tends his flock like a shepherd. Mm. He gathers the lambs in his arms and he carries them oh. close to his heart. Mm -hmm. And then he gently, mm -hmm. gently leads mm -hmm. those who have died. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like um, the shepherds, they would carry the baby lambs, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in their arms or around their necks so that they could feel the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And just that is a picture of the gentle shepherd. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. yeah, he is. And that's, that's who he is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I just didn't know when to come in. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Me. Jump it's in. a lot. It's 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 it is. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But the, thing, mm -hmm. the sad part is, is that the world, even before we were Christian, we thought God was harsh. We, we pictured God as a harsh God. Uh, sitting high, looking low, ready to mm -hmm. yeah. do the gamble, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. that's the thing, that's what people think, they think God is harsh, and, and he's not, he's very gentle, he's very loving, and and harsh, I mean, I, of course, I've got all kinds of definitions of gentleness, too, uh -huh. but yeah. y'all yes. already mentioned all of them, so we won't say it, but harsh, uh, unpleasant, unkind, cruel, more severe than necessary. Mm -hmm. But you think about what God did for oh, us. Yes. That shows ultimate. Mm -hmm. And he pardoned us by excusing our past. That's mm -hmm. it. He pardoned mm -hmm. us, his gentleness. Mm -hmm. He could have been um, the judge of all judge and put the final, this, you know, mm -hmm. he should have sent us to hell. Sure. He should have. Mm -hmm. But the gentleness of him mm -hmm. sent us is going to send us to heaven exactly. by the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know? That's so, right. But mm -hmm. that's the thing. People think that he is harsh, but he's not. Mm -hmm. Never. Yeah. Because you, you look at people today and what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people that are mad and angry at God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. you know, and for me to go and say, you know, Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and God comes to either have life and abundantly. He said, well, people will look at you and say, well, how does he give me abundant life? Yeah. Right. But we got to let him know who he is and how, just like Pastor yes. said, mm -hmm. he's there with you. Yes, regardless of what we go through, regardless of the tragedies we may face, yes. we got to trust him that he's going to get us through. Yes. He's going to get us through the hurt, the pain, the loss, and everything. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when, I, when I think about, and, I, and I, I sit and I just cry, when I watch people go through things like that, and I say, God, I said, and you bless me. I'm still with a roof over my head. Yeah. I'm still with lights on and water and everything else. But oh, they yes. have nothing. Nothing. Yeah. nothing. nothing. And that's yes. my prayer. God, restore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You restore. Right. That they will grab a hold of not only just restore their stuff, but yes. restore their relationship. Yes. That's it. Yes. Restore their, 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 their trust in you. Yes. And everything else. Because so much Satan wants to steal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from us. Mm -hmm. Not just our stuff. He wants to steal our spirit and everything yes. else that we're not trusting yes. not. And mm -hmm. he is the one that we got to trust. That's mm -hmm. so true. Mm -hmm. We're hated a lot in the world today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because of, just because we are Christian, because people automatically have this this can preconceived notion that we think we're better or we're gonna judge them or mm -hmm. them right. down mm -hmm. or right. or you know mm -hmm. criticize their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not about that. Mm -hmm. I just let me love on you. I'm not, I can agree to disagree. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, you know, I I have a, a, a non-believer who's one of my clients, and I recently switched jobs. Well, she followed me to my new job, and oh. you know, I was like, "Girl, you do know that I'm a Christian counselor, right?" Mm -hmm. And she's like, "Yeah." She said, "You know, I'm not religious." I said, "Yeah, you just sit on there." It's nothing about us. Right now. No. It's yeah. nothing about it's us. Yeah. It's just yeah. let me love on you. Mm -hmm. That's it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. That's it. It's not me. It's Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you did show her that though, because she follows you. My floor dropped to the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you do know that. You know, this yeah. She was like, yeah. You know, I'm not religious. I was like, that's okay. Just sit on down. Mm -hmm. And so many people said that. Yeah. <laughs> now look at them. Do you know Jesus wasn't religious either? Right. Yes. He's about relationship. Right. Exactly. That's exactly. You know? That's yeah. the key relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think everyone mm -hmm. the fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, the the bottom part of it is all built upon love. Yeah. It, it is. Yeah. You know? Sure. I mean, you can't have patience. You can't mm -hmm. have gentleness. Mm -hmm. You can't have temperance. You can't have any of these mm -hmm. without love. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we only know that because Christ has taught us that. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, we wasn't 
mean, it wasn't right. I mean, it was right to start on stuff. But, like, to really genuinely know what love is. Yes. How a man should love you. Mm -hmm. How a father should love you. Mm -hmm. You know, how to show love. How to give love. Like, those things are only things that I've read through the world and experienced through Christ. Right. Yes. Because those, I mean, you know, life teaches us two different things. Exactly. And, you know, Mm -hmm. one is really healthy Mm -hmm. and one is not. Right. 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 So, like, that is something that I've experienced. You know, through Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 But in that um, of First Timothy in uh, six and eleven says, uh, "Be but you, O men of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness and godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. We mm-hmm. have to chase after Him. Yes. yes. Along with the other fruits of the Spirit, yes. it should be glowing in our everyday life." Oh, yeah. I have seen some people that have walked this. Yes. From the time I'm old, oh, yes. they walk this mm-hmm. the same mm-hmm. tone. Mm-hmm. They know how to handle these things mm-hmm. and they are clothed in it. And yes. I said this every day. I learn something from them every yeah. day mm-hmm. that I know that this is teaching me yeah. that I've got to continue to do right. that. Because it is sometimes, you know, that last nerve somebody's there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you're trying to say, Lord, help me mm-hmm. show gentleness. Yeah. Help me show these things I'm supposed to be showing. But it's hard sometimes. Yes, it but is. But I have to just press my way through. Mm-hmm. Have to press my mm-hmm. way through. Mm-hmm. Even when people say stupid stuff, mm-hmm. I have to press yeah. my way through mm-hmm. and yeah. shut my mouth sometimes. <laughs> because it, it let God deal with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we need to be clothed in this. Yes. That's clothed it. in the thing and the it. attributes of mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And when you say clone, that's that's something we need to remember is that it's it doesn't just happen automatically. Mm-hmm. Right. It's only through and by the spirit yeah. of God. Right. And um, intentionality. It yeah. is. It is. And and let that be your prayer as mm-hmm. you start out your day. Mm-hmm. You know, just like putting on your clothes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just pray, Lord, help me to walk in, in these fruits. Yes. Help yes. me to walk yes. in yes. Yes. Help yes. me to walk yes. in love yes. as yes. as we encounter others throughout the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is so mm-hmm. true. That is so true. Mm-hmm. And we know that's what that's what Jesus did. And in my when I was studying, um, I found this really well, a really good description, and it's in Isaiah 53. Um, it talks, it gives us a really good example of how Jesus modeled mm-hmm. Jim Jim. Amen. That scripture says he had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. Mm-hmm. And it's this description of Jesus uh, that lets us know that he was nothing, I mean, just mm-hmm. a look on the outside, there was nothing special, but we know that the Spirit of God, he yes. was That's the it. open of yes. the Spirit of That's God. It. And, and it just, it showed, it mm-hmm. came out, and that's how we should be. Mm-hmm. You know, if we have these, uh, these fruits living on the inside of us, mm-hmm. they should spill over. Oh, that's yes. right. People should that's be right. able to see them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You had mentioned about uh, meekness. Meekness mm-hmm. doesn't mean weakness. No, I love that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that, that's how sometimes people see us. Exactly. It, like mm-hmm. you're forgiven or you're mm-hmm. doing something for somebody and maybe they've done you wrong mm-hmm. Or, mm-hmm. and you're doing it for them. Mm-hmm. Maybe they you know, lied on you or what you hear examples right. of it all the time. Mm-hmm. But it's God, it's he him putting that in our heart. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And gentleness, mm-hmm. I saw that gentleness involves quick to let things go. Forget <coughs> things. Yes. And one other thing was having mm-hmm. a supporting demeanor. Mm-hmm. Is that not Jesus? It is. He's supporting it us. Is. He's it not is. trying to beat us down. Mm-hmm. That's what the world thinks. <laughs> That's, the, truth That's the thing about it. They don't know the gentleness and the love mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. God because we don't always show it. That's we right. are pointing things That's sometimes. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so, and as a Christian, you know, like the Christian in whole, mm-hmm. you get that, but then it doesn't mean we're weak. Right. It just means we're we love, we love. Mm-hmm. And that's what Jesus put in us. That is so true. I'm glad you said that because mm-hmm. that brings yeah. you to uh, 1 Peter 3, 15 to 17. says, yes. let's sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and mm-hmm. always be ready to give a defense to yeah. everyone who has asked you a reason for the hope that is in you mm-hmm. with meekness and fear, having a good conscience that when they deframe you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. 
for it is better, for it is the will of God to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful, you know, even just like you said, they look at us and they hate they hate Christians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't yes. like Christians mm -hmm. because of the things that we portray on the outside of these doors. Right. But the thing about it is he's <coughs> given us, he's given us our instructions on how to handle it yeah. and mm -hmm. handle it in the right way. Mm -hmm. Because we can go off on people. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is that's not the way Jesus no. did. Yeah. Even no. when he turned the tables over, he still used that gentleness. He yes, took the time, did. took his gentleness uh -huh. and Platted that whip, yeah, right? yeah, and he yeah, just let know, you know, I love you, but this yeah. is not going to go on. Yeah. Even yeah. when the Pharisees uh, rise up against him, mm -hmm. yeah. he just mm -hmm. spoke the word in boldness. Yeah. He told them the truth. He didn't holler at them. He didn't go crazy. No. You ever see people just go off because of something? I mean, oh, start yes. talking and spitting mm -hmm. from the mouth yeah. and just yes. going crazy. But that's not gentleness. No. That's the way God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. The way He mm -hmm. walk. That's the way He wants us yeah. to walk. It's a whole thing to the church being missing from the gentle giant. Mm -hmm. Like I really do because we can be a powerful force oh, yes. Oh, yes. if we really use the fruits of the Spirit and the Holy Spirit yeah. like we need to. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And yes, we're fallible as Christians. Yes, we're masters just like anybody else. But I think as a whole, we mm -hmm. are a oh, gentle yes. giant. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. We can move mountains. Oh, the yes. word said we can. Yes. <laughs> we can move the mountains. That is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you take with Daniel when he had to, um, or was going to put in the lines then. Mm -hmm. Daniel didn't fuss at him. Daniel was on his job. Yes, and because of how he had a different spirit, mm -hmm. and the king was going to put him over everything. Mm -hmm. Jealousy come in the picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that spirit of jealousy rose up quick. Yes, and they put Daniel didn't fight. Mm -hmm. He went on in the lines. Then he yes. still trusted God. Yes. He didn't stop trusting God. Mm -hmm. He didn't stop calling on God. He didn't stop praying. He didn't stop meditating on God. But the one that was taught was the king because yeah. he knew that Daniel right. was real with God. Mm -hmm. Yes, and look what happened to Daniel. Mm -hmm. He came out with no harm, no hurt, no danger. Yes. And that's the way we got it. Uh -huh. Absolutely. That is our truth. Yes. And the scripture tells us to be imitators of Christ. Yes. Oh, yes. To be yes. imitators yes. of him. And and I just want to read this. It says that if we're going to be imitators of Christ, this is who Jesus was. He, ex he exhibited gentle strength in every sense of the word. When the Pharisees mocked him, he could have put them in their place, but he restrained himself. Mm -hmm. When he was whipped without cause, um, he could have broken the whip with just one word. Yeah. When he was dying on the cross and the people were teasing him, he could have proven them wrong and lived, but he chose to die yeah. for our sins. That's right. So he he was that the epitome of strength, yeah. the epitome yeah. of strength, but not in a harsh way, mm -hmm. but in that gentleness and oh, that meekness. Yes. yes. Um, he had the full power, mm -hmm. but he was able to keep it in reserve. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to do. That's yes. so true. That's yes. so true. Mm -hmm. We have to do it. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't win nobody over Christ. No. Exactly. No. <laughs> we can't do it. Mm -hmm. So many times I think when I was studying this, and a lot of times I think about this, you know, my, the, my pastor, our pastor, mm -hmm. that we, uh, we, Grew up, and I say grew up under, grew up after we became born right. again. Mm -hmm. uh, she was she was a strong woman, mm -hmm. but she was also uh, very loving mm -hmm. and very me. She was. and but I I also know that she was she wasn't afraid to correct you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. But when she corrected you, it wasn't harsh. Yeah. It was in a very uh, gentle way. Right. And you you appreciated it. Mm -hmm. And you heard her. And you listened. Mm -hmm. And you did. Yeah. And I, I always remember her for that. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. That's that true. she, she was able to exhibit mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, to be able to be that. You know, we read some of the accounts in the Bible. And, and we are, if it's all based upon the word, based upon, you know, God. But we read these accounts in the, in the Bible, mm -hmm. and we're still talking about them today. Yes, yes. So yes. Not, not to elevate us, mm -hmm. but are we living our lives 
in a way so that maybe you know some of the young people beneath mm -hmm. us are right. they going to be talking about the way we show God you know in our mm -hmm. lives how they're doing at this time yeah. Yeah. You know, that's something to think about. It is. It really is. is. Yes. Especially yes. to especially to the young ones beneath us, you know, our own family. Mm -hmm. But but the strangers that we meet that you know, maybe we don't have a quote unquote tie to, but are they gonna see and talk about Jesus in us? Right. But not not right. about us. Right. But mm -hmm. about Jesus. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mm -hmm. said. You know, because we are to leave that legacy yes. here yes. with that with that next right. generation yes. coming exactly. up and working and yeah. moving. Exactly. They ought to remember, you know, hey, look, these ladies sit around this mm -hmm. table and they talked about the Lord. They ministered to people yes. that didn't even know who was even gonna watch. Right. But yet right. still they right. minister to people the word of God. Mm -hmm. This is something that you gotta show them. This yes. you got to just keep on going on anyhow. Mm -hmm. I don't care there's one person sitting here. Mm -hmm. You still got to do what God called you to do. Yes, that's so true. That is so true. Okay. We'll start around the table. Mm -hmm. If anybody has any final thoughts. <clears throat> I think the thing for me, the gentleness was, I took three things, was correction doesn't have to be hate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have have to be easy to forgive. Oh yeah. And yeah. that's um, nothing is done <coughs> selfishly. Yeah, that's right. right. Those that's are the so three right. things that I kind of really took away from this was mm -hmm. um, I have to be on my A game. We have oh, to yeah. yeah. have yeah. yeah. the yeah. to, mm -hmm. to shine. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things that I really took away from this. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what I wrote there was is our actions. The act, our actions, the character of Christ, must speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. yes. Do we scatter people when we come around, or do they love our presence because of Jesus yeah. in our lives? Mm -hmm. Is gentleness always being seen in my life? I take it personal. Mm -hmm. The yes. fruit of the Spirit is not to be turned on and off, walking in as a child of God. Mm -hmm. And we've got to be real. Can be fake. Exactly. You're doing this, it's got to yes. be real mm -hmm. because somebody needs to see Jesus. Yeah, that is so true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, my big takeaway is just how gentle the Good Shepherd is. Yes. yes. And, uh, <laughs> and the fact that he picked me, but it's not, you know, he didn't single me out. He did, but he singles out every person out there because he is standing there knocking yes. so gently. Yeah. And, uh, he just wants to carry each one mm -hmm. into the, the gates of eternity. Yes, he does. And, and it has yes. nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with us. Or nothing to do with whatever person. Mm -hmm. It is all the good shepherd. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And my takeaway is all of y'all's takeaway. <laughs> I love that. I love how y'all do it. But I, I do. I'm very grateful that God has chosen me. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful. Mm -hmm. And I, I pray that I'm... Um, an imitator mm -hmm. of him. Mm -hmm. I want to be, I want people to see it in me, not just hear it mm -hmm. that right. comes out of my mouth. I want right. them to see it. Oh, yeah. I want to see the gentleness, the love, the forgiveness, the grace that he shows yes. to us every day. That's gentleness. That's Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to end up by saying Matthew 21 5. It says, See, your king comes to you. He's gentle and riding on a donkey. Mm -hmm. And now, now he is offering us that same gentleness, and it's a gift. Yes. And what do we do whenever we're presented with the gift? We have a choice. We can either accept it mm -hmm. or we reject it. So are we going to accept this gift that God has given us? And if we accept it, then he will help us to live it and yes. to allow it to shine yes. through us. Yes. And, to, and just to piggyback off something you said earlier about the love. Mm -hmm. um, I want to share a devotional, one of my devotionals I had uh, this past week, and we know that we're in the fall of the year oh. and, and all of that, and it just really spoke to me, um, and it spoke to me in regard to this lesson. And I don't. I brought this picture up. Uh, I know y'all can see it, but I don't know if you can see it online. It's a cornucopia, and I'm probably not saying that right. <laughs> but most people probably don't even know what it is, you know, most younger people. But I'm sure you all maybe at that time have seen those maybe on your mother or your grandmother's dining table. Um, 
But to me, it, it symbolizes just this time of year, and it's like the harvest. And, and it's the fruit of your labor all summer long and, and how God is blessed. But I'm going, if you will just bear with me, I'm going to read you this devotion. And it's taken from our scripture, Galatians 5.22. It says, when I think of the fruit of the Spirit, I imagine the cornucopia my mother used to sit out in our home around Thanksgiving. I can still picture the wicker basket that lay on its side, the plastic fruits and vegetables spilling out of it. As a child, I would often want to play with the individual pieces of fruit, but it wasn't possible to remove just one element from the centerpiece. The food was all glued together in one inseparable mass of goodness. In my mind, the fruit of the Spirit works much like, much the same way. We were not offered peace on Tuesday and patience on Thursday. <laughs> we don't pick and choose which fruit we will enjoy or exhibit to others on any given day. They're all mingled together and overflowing in our lives on a daily basis. They're beautiful and inseparable mass of goodness in the life of a, of a believer. The very definition of cornucopia aptly describes the fruit of the spirit uh, because according to the encyclopedia, it is uh, defined as an abundant supply of good things. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what our Heavenly Father instills in us when we come to Him. We're filled with an abundant supply of all the good things that the Holy Spirit has to offer. There are too many gifts to hold, so they spill out, out, of, uh, out of us as we interact with others. Whatever is within us comes out in our actions and our attitudes. When a cornucopia may come out only in the fall, while it may only come out in the fall, we can have love, patience, kindness, and gentleness toward others, no matter the season or the circumstances. Wow. We can experience joy, peace, faithfulness, and self-control within ourselves every day of the year. And all these things are mingled together and overflowing in such a way that it's evident to those around us. Mm -hmm. Our lives should be a cornucopia filled with the gifts from the Father. And the and I just want to finish up by saying all those things are held together. They have to have a binding agent and that <coughs> agent is love. Oh, Amen. 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 That's so right. That, that was awesome. good. <laughs> well, you um, close us out with prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father God, for your love your grace, your peace, and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for all the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But Father God, help us, Lord Jesus, to be that cornucopia and help us, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. just to spill over all the fruits and the gifts to mm -hmm. everybody that we come in contact with. Help us, Father God, just to shine the light of your love to everyone, Lord Jesus. Help us, Father God, just to go about to knock down these walls and to just go out and make a difference yes, and show Lord others, Jesus. Lord Jesus, that you mm -hmm. are the Heavenly Father that loves, the Heavenly Father that loves you no matter what, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what you think you've done, no matter what, God is love. And we mm -hmm. thank you, Lord God, for just the opportunity. And we thank you, Lord, for just blessing this word, blessing this word and blessing these women and blessing this table, but blessing this meat as it goes forth. Yes. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs>